All right, so we back here once again, and this time we're here to do a first reaction for this new grip project entitled Probo Skittier. I hope I'm saying that shit right. You know, if you guys know who Grip is, Grip is an up and coming artist from Atlanta. Like last year, dude got voted for like Complex's um, best new artist award and all that, and he dropped like a he dropped a good he dropped a great ass project called Snub Nose too. If you guys haven't heard it. Um, it's crazy because my relationship as far as like with his music and stuff, he was the first artist that I actually did for my Fresh Out the Oven skit. He dropped a project back in 2017 called Porch. And yeah, that was like the first, that was like my first time ever listening to him. So I didn't get a chance to listen to the projects in between Porch and Snub Nose, but at the same time, I could see the growth obviously there. Because he was dropping projects around that time when I wasn't even... Like dropping videos for real for my channel when I was like in school and shit. So without further ado, we finna get into it. My first reaction to Grip's new project, Probo Skittia, is also on Bandcamp. So the first song we got on here is called Art for Pennies. You did. Mm. Bro, hold up. Alright, that was a dope opening track. Coming in them uh, like a damn pistol just pow, 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 pow. Just nigga shots everywhere. I'm liking the energy, bro. I'm liking the energy and just feel like a continuation from the last one. So yeah, the next song we got on here is called Grip. Well, um, me, I came back harder than ever. I'm too cold for your little cardigan sweater. Mm. I'm so funny, you bastards, flapping and stretching. Mm. Mm. Lemon pepper loop. Crazy that he did the little Jay Z interpolation right then because this is giving me like some Jay Z and Rick Rubin type of vibes right now. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, this production style right now is not really for me, but at the same time, your rapping is the shit. Hey. That's gonna be one of them songs, like, like I said, I like his rapping ability, but production wise, that's gonna be one of the ones that's gonna have to grow on me. But I'm seeing what you're doing. I'm okay, then. I like it. So the next song we got on here is called Let Them Know. Oh, this shit got like a, like a New York grittiness to it. Okay, then. Hey, here we go. Oh shit. Mm. Talk your talk, nigga. Talk your talk, nigga. Hey, look, bruh. I agree with you. All right, so the next song we got on here is called 316 featuring Kenny Mason and Jig. Can you see oh. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh. I was not expecting the production to do that, bro. I thought it was going to be like on some slow junk, but it didn't flip into something totally different. <laughs> I like this. He kind of gave me jail right now. But I like him though. Mm. Hey. Hey. Brush why I sound like that nigga J just be them juggling words. Poodle man, hoodle man, hoodle boo, boodle man. The next song we got on here is called Tell It. Mm. Gonna get fat. Mm. Mm. 
Six shots, but they did not aim properly. Niggas is lame properly. Not stand up guys, they brain wobbly. Missing shots and shit. So the last and final song we got is called Smooth Speech. Um, so it's probably the skit or something. Why do I expect for shit to change when I know I'm not living right? Ooh, spoken word. But what's right? No wonder I've yet to see his shadow. Forgive me, Lord. Mm. It's just me, myself, and I in this dark room. But my thoughts illuminate the landscape. I can't relax. I can't sleep. I can't rest because my mind is busy running a marathon. All right. So my final verdict for Grips Probo Skidia. This is a solid EP. As far as the production of this project, like, yeah, you can already tell, like, he's on this rapidly rap shit, but at the same time, the way this set up, he got, like, a... The way this sounds, like, he got kind of, like, this soulful mixed with rock with a little bit of hip-hop type of feel going on with it, just as a whole. Production-wise, the only song I wasn't really feeling for it was the song Grip, which it got... That's the one I was saying, like, he got kind of, like, this rock thing going on with, with it, and, like... I don't know, hip hop with rock, sometimes it always be like a, it always be hit or miss for me. And this is one of the ones where it's like, it, it, the more and more I listen to it, I feel like it'll grow on me because for one, grip on that, rapping his ass off, and like that's the part that kind of, you know what I'm saying, keep me entertained with that song. Let them know, my, probably my favorite song on here production wise, like you got this gritty New York type of feel. I feel like if you was gonna do like a feature or some junk for this, I feel like somebody from Griselda would have been perfect for this song. This is a great song, and honestly, this is probably my favorite song on this project. Then you get to the song 316 with Kenny Mason and Jid. Overall, this is a great song, and I say this shit all the time. I feel like Jid is one of them people that is, he, every time he drop a damn verse, he just get better and better. You just get you just get better and better. The Kenny Mason dude, that was my first time ever hearing him. I like him. He was dope and grip. Man, you know what grip would do. This song right here is crazy to me in particular because like even going back to his project Snub Nose, I was thinking to myself like, damn, bro, these would be good with like some damn Jed features or like I feel like him and Jed to sound good together, bro. Y'all got that y'all got that Atlanta connection, bro. It'll be dope of y'all like did some type of damn duo project, like, you know what I'm saying, Jed and Grip. I say that because I feel like Jed and Grip were two of the most I feel like pure rap skill wise, they the most talented out of Atlanta right now, as far as like the up and coming folks that you know what I'm saying is coming up. I like how celebratory tell it was, even though it had like a I don't know, it had some, somewhat like a, I ain't gonna say it had like a dark message, but he just giving you like the positives and negatives of like, you know what I'm saying, being the artist trying to navigate through this whole rap game system that we got. Um, so with that being said, like, yeah, he getting so. <coughs> And I wasn't and I wasn't expecting the spoken and I wasn't expecting the spoken word piece on the final track. Um it pretty much give you an insight. And the spoken and the spoken word track and the spark and the spoken word track at the end the spoken word track at the end was a dope way to like close this out. Even though with me, I feel like just closing it out would tell it, that would have been perfect. But I feel like with this last and final skit, that's sort of like the cherry on top to go with like the overall message that this is giving. So pretty much this is like a table full of elephants and their ancestors. So yeah, I don't know what this really has to do with the album. Maybe I need to listen to it more to figure that out. Or even just this, you know what I'm saying, this green thing on the cover. Like, I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was some type of plant, some type of vegetable or something like that. But at the same time, the more and more I look at it and then I compare it to that, um, to the definition I got, it could be like the front of an elephant face, like on some abstract type of shit. And you know what I'm saying? That little middle piece coming down might be the damn, the, the elephant trunk or something. I, man, I don't know. But yeah. I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah, let me know how y'all feeling about this project in the comment section. Let me know if I was wrong about some stuff. Please feel free to correct me. Also, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every time I drop a video. Be sure to follow me at the social media at right here. And yeah, bro, if you got suggestions or anything like that, or even if you want to get your own music out, be sure to DM me. My DMs are open. You can even leave a comment in the comment section as far as like suggestions and all that shit so like yeah man, i'm open to anything so yeah this is t sign i want to get man thank you guys for watching this video peace <laughs>